All right, y'all, I just got my stuff that came in the mail, and I'm showing my son how to use these incense. And so I'm like, well, since I got to show him, I might as well go and show you as well. So these are, we used to, which we still do, we use all types of incense. You have the sticks, you have the cones, you have the powders. Um, what other incense do you have? You have it in oil form. And so um, this is the powder, which um, I don't think I let him use before. So I'm showing him how to do it. So um, as well as you. So you get a charcoal disc and you lay it in the holder because you really don't need this if you lay the charcoal disc first. And then once you lay the charcoal disc, that's when you heat up the charcoal disc. This charcoal disc got um, gunpowder in it as well. So, you know, be careful. Don't be doing nothing crazy. Don't be cray cray. Don't be cray cray. <laughs> but you can see it, um, Elijah show it. You can see it start to flame up. You can see the gunpowder in there. Look at it, how, how it's flaming up. All right. So, one of the things I love about charcoal, charcoal is good at removing negative energy. Charcoal is really good with removing negative energy. So just the charcoal disc alone is gonna help you to cleanse your house. I'm trying to tell you guys, you know, um, I like how when the Bible says that the best gift out of all gifts is wisdom. You know, and everybody is like, what, what? I thought it was love, no. You know, oh, I thought it was this. No, the greatest gift that you can get is wisdom. Because what is the purpose of having any of these gifts if you don't have the wisdom to know how to use them, how to operate them, when to use it and when not to use it so you don't get taken advantage of? Especially it's not going to be this um, gift of love because love is easily taken advantage of. If It's no point of having love if you don't have wisdom. So wisdom is the greatest gift. And when it comes to spell work, rituals, the greatest of them all is protection. It's no point of love, money, fame, success, beauty, you know, um, all these things that you can attain through magic. It's pointless to have any of that shit if you don't know the basics of protection. Don't underestimate protection because some of you want to go straight into manifestation. That it's like, oh, let me manifest, you know, that nigga that's six five, that's big and muscular. And it's like, okay, keep your hormones and your testosterone in check. <laughs> Let's not just automatically manifest the desires of our hearts. Let not just automatically manifest the money we want to get in, the job that we want, the career we want, the, the level of success and everything that we want. Let's go down to the basics and do protection first. Because if someone is envious of you or jealous of you on this journey of all of the things that you have manifested and you don't know how to protect yourself, that shit can be gone just like that. Your man that you just prayed for, gone just like that. Money, job, just like that is gone. That is the purpose of protection. Protective jars behind every door. Pillar of salt behind the front door. Cinnamon behind the front door. Doing spiritual floor washes. Doing spiritual baths. Doing your incense. All these things are important. Do not forget the basics of protection. <laughs> From the rooftop. <laughs> Do not forget the basics of protection. Please. This incense is good at removing negative energy. You can use whatever incense you want. I mean, remember, bitter is the one that removes. Once this thing is heated up, you're just going to do a sprinkle. <laughs> and then the smoke is going to come. And now all you're doing is just walking around, walking around with the incense holder and the bag because you got to sprinkle as you go once the smoke stops. So we're going to... Go ahead and do this thing. Let me do my dance and walk. Hey! 
Now I can dance and cleanse at the same time. <laughs> but no, for real, I'm just joking. I joke, I joke. I have no rhythm. <laughs> it's, it's irony. Chingo is my daddy and I have no rhythm. I dance like Ilegua. Ilegua don't have no rhythm. Ilegua just do whatever the fuck he want. This Ilegua dancing. <laughs> That's Ilegua. <laughs> I dance like Ilegua. I dance like that shoot. <laughs> but no, but for real, easy and simple for um, to do incense. Just get you a good incense holder that can hold a charcoal dish. You, you see how to do it, Elijah? Yes, sir. So in the morning when you do incense, this is what you're going to do every morning. Okay. And then let the aroma go. Go to every room. And all throughout the house, you're going to allow this smoke to burn. That then you're going to go back to the front door. The second time around, you're going to open doors. You're going to open windows. So the negative energy must leave. Everybody on here on the internet talking about monitoring spirits. Monitoring spirits. I'm tired of hearing that fucking shit. If y'all not going to talk about how to get rid of them. If y'all not saying that y'all are ready to get rid of them. Stop talking about it. Stop giving it power. Stop giving it authority over you. Monitoring spirits is only for those that don't know how to protect their homes. It's only for those that skipped learning about protective rituals and went straight into manifestation and now you got what you want, but people spying on you. Let's be real. There is order to this thing and protection is best than anything. Any ritual that you know, protection is the best one. Keep these niggas out your fucking house. <laughs> I'm assuming the spirit is a nigga. It could be something else. Let me know. Sprinkle. All right, Elijah. So I'm gonna have you to try it okay. once, the, once the video is done. Don't, I'll let you. I'll wait to the video. But I already got it lit for you, so yours is easy. All you're doing is sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, dance. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me let y'all go. Bye, y'all. Get these monitoring spirits out. <laughs>